Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weebs. Welcome to the third part on where I was talking about the list view with images. As you guys remember, we have the data inside our string array in two different arrays and our images here inside the drawable folder. Then we created a single row that represents the structure of a single row inside our list view. And here inside main activity, we simply try to bring everything. So now let's go ahead to our activity underscore main.xml where there is nothing right now. This is the place where we need to put the list view, right? So I'm going to go to the design tab. I'm going to go to the container section here, take the list view, drag and drop it at the top left corner. So at this point, if you go to the text part here, we have this ID list view automatically associated with it. So let's bring this list view inside the Java code. For that, I'm going to go to main activity here. I'm going to say list view. So inside our on create method, I'm going to go down. I'm going to say list equals to find view by id r dot id dot list view the automatic id which was allocated press alt enter because we need to do some type casting over here and we are done now comes the most important part let's go and make our adapter the adapter is going to be again a very complex process i'm going to take two separate videos just to explain how the adapter works so here i'm going to say class i'll call it vibs adapter my custom adapter extends array adapter of type string so at this point you're gonna get an error saying blah 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 there is no default constructor available now the thing is we need to define a constructor one of the constructors from this array adapter inside our custom class so for that I'm gonna use a with adapter default constructor here and I'm gonna override one of the standard constructors of the array adapter over here by saying super there are four parameters this is gonna need the first one is gonna be a context object I can simply say context C over here, right? And then I can put the C inside this. Second parameter I need here is the layout file that contains the appearance of a single row. In our case, it is this file which is called single row.xml. So let me go and put that by saying r.layout.single row. Third parameter we need is actually a bit tricky. What we actually need is one of the text views and a string array that represents the data that is going to go inside that text view the problem with our case is we have two text views so either put this text view and put this titles array inside that or put this text view and put the descriptions array to match with this so let's go and put the first one i'm going to put the titles here by saying r.id.textView fourth parameter for me is going to be the string array containing the data for this text view all right in my case it is going to be the string mimi titles so I'm going to say string titles over here and this titles variable is going to come right from here. There is probably an error because context has not been imported. Press alt enter import class and everything should be fine. All right. So this is our constructor. So at this point, uh, the basic structure is ready. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead, show you guys how to put our get view method so that it can exactly create that layout of a single row at runtime. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next part. Have a nice day.